How's it going guys, TexHG from NHL 16 video, and this is going to be top 10 rated defensemen in NHL 16. Yeah, we just released all their overalls, we're going to take a look here, give you guys my opinions. Starting off here guys, at number 10 we have Alex Petrangelo of the St. Louis Blues, 90 overall rating, so he's got the same rating as last year, I think that's pretty fair, he has a solid season, really no reason for him to go up or down, also I definitely consider him a top 10 defenseman in the NHL. One thing to note though guys, we know that Tarasenko is at least as high rated as Petrangelo, which means Tarasenko will be at least a 90 overall in NHL 16, so... In GM mode, you'll have a 90 overall at least Tarasenko that's like 23 years old, which will be insane. Also, his Huck card's going to be at least 90 overall, so can't wait to see what Tarasenko's stats actually are. Number 9 here, guys, you have Roman Yossi of the National Predators. 90 overall, he got the biggest boost of any top 10 defenseman as before. He was an 85, so 5 overall higher. I think that's really fair. Obviously, he had an amazing season with the Predators. He's a good young defenseman. Uh, 90 overall, in my opinion, is a bit high, though. I'd probably have him like an 88 or an 89, but 90 overall is in that ballpark, so uh, that's pretty fair. At number 8 here, guys, we have Ryan McDonough of the New York Rangers, 90 overall defenseman, so he's the uh, same rating as both Yossi and Petrangelo. He got one overall higher from last year when he was 89. I think that's really fair for him, though. Number 1 defense for the Rangers, really solid defenseman, doesn't really make much mistakes. 90 overall, I think, is you know, definitely fair. At number 7 here, guys, we have Victor Hedman of the Tampa Bay Lightning, 91 overall rating, so he's up 3 from last year. I think that's also pretty fair for him. He had an amazing playoff run, really solid season. I think he solidified himself as a top 10 defenseman. And if he can, you know, duplicate what he did last year, this year, I think he's definitely going to be in the running for a top 5 defenseman. He's just that good. Uh, at number 6 here, guys, we have P.K. Subban, 91 overall. Uh, he was a 90 last year, so he got one overall boost. Seems like they're kind of just boosting everyone slightly. Not really sure the reason for that, but uh, whatever. So uh, taking that into account, 91 overall makes sense for Subban. Personally, I'd probably switch him with the next guy, which is Eric Carlson at number 5. Also 91 overall, but uh, because Carlson's at 5, we know he's got slightly higher individual stats. Subban's probably something like a 91.2, and Carlson's something like a 91.4. Obviously, Carlson is probably the best offensive defenseman in the league. At least he is, in my opinion, but I'd probably have Subban... Uh, slightly rated higher than Carlson as he's better overall defenseman, but still, uh, Carlson and Subban are both, you know, pretty equal in terms of just overall skill, so not too bad there. Next guy's number four here, Brian Suter, 93 overall, so he's got one overall boost. Uh, Carlson also has a two overall boost, forgot to mention that. And, uh, Suter, really solid defenseman, obviously, for the Minnesota Wild. Uh, in my opinion, he is a top five defenseman in the NHL for sure, so I like that ranking there at number four at 93 overall. Next guy's number three here, we have Drew Doughty, the LA Kings, 93 overall as well, so he's up, I believe, Two overall, I think it was 91 last year, so Doughty had a really solid season, even though the LA Kings missed the playoffs, he had an amazing season last year, and in my opinion, he's actually probably uh, t the second best defense in the league. Uh, next has number two here with Duncan Keith, 93 overall, uh, Duncan Keith, in my opinion, is the best defense in the league, he's 93 overall, so he's tied with Doughty and with Suter, I'd probably make him a 94 and have him as the number one defenseman, switch him up with the next guy, which is Shea Weber of the National Predators, 94 overall. Don't get me wrong, Weber's a very good defenseman, but personally, I'd probably have him in my top three at the third spot. I think I'd have Keith as number one at 94 overall, then Doughty number two at 93, maybe even, yeah, 93, and then I'd have Weber at number three as a 93, but I'd have Doughty have, you know, slightly higher individual stats, but uh, regardless, you know, it's pretty close, it's close enough, you know, they're in the ballpark for these defensemen, in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, like I said. I think they did a pretty good job. Personally, like the goalies, I'd probably have them all, like, one or two overall lower. I'm not sure why, they kind of just are tending to just kind of boost everybody up one or two overall uh, every year. It really doesn't make too much sense, but uh, regardless, pretty pretty close, I think, in terms of evaluating the players. So again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye.